Hospital patients in East Yorkshire are being asked to rate their doctor's performance in the hope that it will highlight areas for improvement. Last month, 3,500 people gave feedback on their experience and hospital managers say that the ratings are already showing results. More from our health correspondent, Vicky Johnson. When booking a hotel, many of us will go online to see how it rates. Now patients are able to do the same with hospitals and doctors. Basically, it's a survey on how we're doing as a department. Last month, 3,500 patients completed these short questionnaires at Holland East Yorkshire's hospitals. Feedback forms in general are going to only give uh, some sort of advice to this hospital, how they could treat people better. Yeah. Gives them some idea, doesn't it, on about it, how long you've waited and everything. Every day, Rachel Pierce sifts through scores of patient feedback forms and online comments. Most are positive, but it's the negative ones which prompt change. One of the things that patients were um, negatively putting on the feedback forms was that they never see the ward sister. So ward sisters now have their own clinics where patients can speak to them along with their relatives. For surgeons like Simon Tyrrell, the extension of the feedback scheme will have very real benefits for both patients and their doctors. I think patients will be able to choose the doctor that most, most matches their needs. And also those doctors that are consistently not very good, the whole point is that they need to have evidence for that. Human nature says that we all think we're above average at what we do, and we're not. Some of us are very good and some of us are not very good. So I think this will raise standards. The vast majority of patients, currently 81%, do leave positive comments about their hospital experiences, but it's hoped that by broadening the scheme and encouraging even more to take part, it'll help drive up standards even further. Patients here have already shown they like leaving feedback. More than 30,000 of them have done so in the last year. Now it's hoped even more can be persuaded to give their opinions on those who treat and care for them. Vicky Johnson, BBC Look North, Hull. And the time is uh, 17 minutes to uh, 7 o'clock here on BBC.